have a look at this. This is our CIKeys.com landing page. And so now that you guys have all hit this get started thing and establish it, you never need to hit that again. So you're going to come, so this is how you're going to get there. You're going to come to CIKeys.com. It'll load. And then you're going to always navigate to dashboard. Now this looks super confusing. Everybody breathe. No stress, no stress. You guys just created a web domain. What that is, is that's a, a carved out area on our server. Okay, right now all it is is blank memory. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some computer code on there to organize the data, to make it easy for those of us that aren't computer programmers to, to do a web page. There are many ways to do this. If I hit this button, all applications, you'll see a gazillion things. You could do your own email. You guys can make your own email that's your own name. You could make uh, your own cloud-based data storage service. All kinds of cool things you can do. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna start with the simple WordPress application. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in, we're gonna say, hey, computer server place thing. I'm going to barf out all this architecture, all this computer code, right? You're going to get that up, and then we're going to go in and work within that space that we've created. So to do that, I'm going to come up, and I'm going to hit WordPress. So don't do this yet, but I'm going to hit it. And then I'm going to say, and so again, WordPress is just this particular code that, that allows easy easy articulation of information in, in uh, blogging and stuff. And I'm gonna hit this button right here. It says install this application. Now, here's the part where I don't want you to go astray. And that will cause, will cause, uh, cause us some headaches if we, if we don't follow what I'm doing. So right now I have, now your, you, when you do this, your page is gonna show up. I mean, excuse me, your address is gonna show up. So for me, I have a bunch of, I have a gazillion different things. I have all these web pages, so that it's confusing. But for you guys, um, you're just gonna have the one option. So for right now, it's, it's super easy. So I'm gonna come up here. Where it says blog, I'm gonna delete that. Don't want it to say blog. Boo, blog bag, blog bad. I'm gonna come down here. Then we have the series of radio buttons. I'm gonna click ESRM capstone. If you wanna, have another web page. I could show you how to do that later, but if you guys want to have alt alternate sites and other things, you can do that. Um, if you just, if I didn't click this button, it's going to install for you the generic WordPress thing. And as you'll find out, you guys are welcome to manipulate your web page. Not now, but in a few weeks from now, once we have to crawl before we walk, before we run. But if you're ready to start running, you could make your site totally crazy and do all kinds of neat stuff, right? But to start with, I'm asking that you guys click this ESRM capstone so that they're all standardized. So I've given you all the stuff that I want. You know, I've, I've made a template for you so that you guys can more easily get started. Okay, that's all that's doing. So I'm going to click and delete the blog word. I'm going to come down here and hit ESRM capstone. I'm going to come down here and here it is, administrator name. This is one other thing that once we install it, we can't change it. We can change our password, but that administrator name, we can't, we can't, uh, alter after we start do it the first time on this on this particular web page. So if you want to keep it, what am I? M E H S five Z. I guess you could keep that, but you probably want to make something that's more intuitive to you. <laughs> Similarly, you want to change your password. So this, if I do show password, look, this one is dot zero capital X capital W. The password is case sensitive. So if you want to just copy that and use that one, I guess you could do that. Or you can change it to whatever you want. Realize at this stage now, now that we're authenticated through CSUCI, this is totally unrelated to your CSUCI password. If you wanted to use the same password, I guess you could do that. If you want it to be totally separate, that's cool. Your CSUCI password every, what is it now, 180 days, whatever we have to do a new password, that's not true with this. So, so you know, do what you want. But I, I strongly recommend picking a more intuitive administrator name and a, a more easier to remember a password. Not necessarily a simple one, but one that's more easy to remember. 
Uh, and then down here, this part that says website title, you can put a title in. This is also something that you can, you can change later on if you want, but you can go ahead and say, you know, my capstone or something like that. And same thing, this tagline is also changeable uh, down, down the road if you want to change it. But um, so those, those, are, those are fungible and can be manipulated. So we're going to do that whole thing. And then we're going to click this button that says install. Now I'm not going to do that because I, I don't want to overwrite on this page, but that's how we're going to start. So I'd like everybody to do that right now and then wait. After it installs, don't do anything and then we'll pick up the conversation there once you guys get that going.